let z and w be the complex numbers such that z conjugate plus iota times of w conjugate equals to 0 and arg of z into w equals to pi then he is asking us to find the arg of z okay just uh, write down the conditions what he has given the condition he has given it is as z conjugate plus iota times of w conjugate equals to 0 which is the one condition and another condition he has given it is as the argument of z into w equals to pi then the two conditions are he has given asking us to find arg of z okay so this is so now <coughs> Arg of z into w is given. So if we represent w in terms of z, directly we will get it as some arg of z into z. Okay, so that means now we need to represent w in terms of z. To represent the w in terms of z, let we use the condition. What is another condition he has given? He has given that z conjugate plus i times of w conjugate equals to 0. Okay, from this one, we can write it as i into w conjugate equals to minus z conjugate if we multiply with i on the both sides then we'll get i square into w conjugate equals to minus i into z conjugate okay minus i into z conjugate so finally we can write i square is minus one then we can write it as w conjugate equals to simply i into z conjugate okay but we need to represent the w in terms of z so for this one we can write it as w conjugate then all conjugate then we'll get it as a w so then we can write as i z conjugate all conjugate so now which is in the form of z1 into z2 all conjugate okay which is in the form of z1 into z2 all conjugate which can be written as z1 conjugate into z2 conjugate okay and w conjugate whole conjugate equals to w equals to now i conjugate into z conjugate whole conjugate so what is the conjugate of iota it is simply nothing but minus i into z okay minus i into z is w so okay the w we retrieved as minus i into z now use this condition so from the first condition we retrieve the w as minus i into z now use this condition what it is arg of z into w so what is given arg of z into w is nothing but minus i into z equals to pi so what we'll get over here arg of minus i into z square equals to pi okay we know the properties of argument what it is arg of z1 into z2 can be written as arg of z1 plus arg of z2 okay arg of z1 plus arg of z2 now here we have here i minus i into z square then we can write with the properties of the argument so arg of minus i plus arg of z square okay arg of z square okay so now we can write this is as if z1 and z2 equals to z what this uh, property will become arg of z into z equals to arg z plus arg z so now arg z square equals to arg of z square equals to 2 times of arg z okay the generalized property is argument of z power n equals to n times of arg of z which is the generalized property okay now coming back here so we have which is equals to pi so now what it is arg of minus i plus arg of z square equals to pi and how to find out this arg of minus i okay so how to represent the minus i the imaginary number the minus i can be represented as so we need to get it as cos theta plus i sin theta okay if theta equals to theta is the argument if theta equals to pi by 2 what happens here 
theta equals to pi by 2 means cos pi by 2 plus i times of sin pi by 2. The resultant is we obtain this as plus i. Okay, the argument of plus i is pi by 2. Now we need to obtain minus i. Then if we consider it as cos of minus pi by 2 plus i times of sin of minus pi by 2. Then what is the result? Cos of minus theta equals to cos theta that is cos pi by 2 0. Sin of minus theta equals to minus i times of sin pi by 2. The resultant equals to minus i. Then what is now? The, this is the complex number z. Okay, z is equals to we have written as in this manner. So z is equals to minus i. Then what is the arg of minus i now? Arg of minus i is minus pi by 2. Okay, are you getting? So argument of Okay, I am writing over here argument of plus i. If a complex number is imaginary, then it's what it is? Argument is plus or minus pi by 2. If it is plus pi by 2, argument is plus i, arg of plus i, arg of minus i equals to minus pi by 2. So, in a complex number, if the complex number is purely imaginary, then we will get argument of that complex number as plus or minus pi by 2. Okay, now minus i means now here we obtain this is as argument of minus i is minus pi by 2 plus 2 times of argument of z. Why? Because just before here the argument of z square is obtained as 2 times of argument of z which is like a logarithmic property log of a power n n into log a. So then which is equals to pi. So from this one we can write it as 2 times of argument of z equals to pi plus pi by 2 okay which is equals to 3 pi by 2 finally we can write if we simplify this we will get it as arg of z arg of z is equals to 2 plus pi plus pi by 2 is 3 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 and this will be divided then 3 pi by 4 is the required solution what is arg of z is equals to 3 pi by 4 then the option c is correct okay so this is related to the problem of argument he has given the two complex numbers argument so we need to retrieve the conditions to our required condition what it is he is asking for argument of z but in the question he has given that arg z into w so that means Simply we need to transform this w in terms of z. For this transform into w in terms of z, here is the given the condition as z conjugate plus iota times of omega w conjugate equals to 0. From this one we retrieved that w in terms of z and substituting in the condition by applying the properties we are getting the solution. Okay, I think you understand this question very well and the argument Questions are very very important in the competitive examination IIT JEE mains and advanced. Thank you.